Hello, thank you for tuning in to uh, my vlog for September 5th, 2017. So today I watched a uh, short 13 and a half minute video on Google's DeepMind self-learning AI. Um, it is an artificial intelligence program, neural network, uh, deep learning, that beats a master. This was a few months ago, this is not breaking news, but um, it beats a Master of the board game Go. Um, that is a huge, huge thing. Um, and AI is able to outperform a human in some in things that require a um, level of creativity and logic. Um, if they're able to do that, they're able to outperform us in everything. And you know what? You know what? What, what is our purpose here? You know what? This, this makes me feel like the end result is that I, everybody's just going to end up getting cucked by machines, man. Nobody wants to get cucked, especially not by a machine. Now, I understand getting cucked by a machine is not a new thing, okay? I understand, like, anyway. <laughs> so, I really, really despise where this AI stuff is going. I understand it can do great things and make our planet an amazing place, but it's like, where does it end, you know? Where do we uh, where do we draw the line? Well, obviously with you know genius. I mean, all it takes is you know the knowledge of how to do it. There's no real way to establish ethics. You know, if someone comes up with a program on their own, you know, it's totally different. How can you regulate something like that without regulating all of technology? Um, which uh, you know, it's just it's just a huge beast that I just I'm just totally blown away by it I think this is what I think this is my opinion on it on artificial intelligence is that if we're creating something that's just like us but more powerful I mean we're essentially creating a god um, I just think we should slow down on that aspect you know making more efficient machines is one thing but trying to invent a machine to um, create music to write news articles to exist as a human being does to outperform human creativity um, it's just it just gets dark man I mean it just what else is there to do um, it's just like I, mean, I understand like if every job in the world is taken care of and all we have to do is live our lives I mean what do we have to take pride in as human beings anymore it's um, it just blows me away that um, so many people don't don't think of it like that. So many people are like, and so many people are against it too. And you know what? I, I think we should just slow down a lot. Um, it's it's awful. Um, the end result, you know, is everybody being plugged into you know the Matrix perfect lifestyle. I mean, everybody has everything they want, and it's all part of a big illusion. I mean, that's I just think that's that takes away our humanity, man. Like, sure, we're, you know, we're talking monkeys or whatever. That's better than just being the slaves to a machine. I mean, uh... So, I just... Man, it's it's scary. I'm not worried about, you know, personally, you know, if there is some kind of apocalypse where Terminator robots, Skynet machines exterminate the majority of humanity, you know, that is a possibility and a likelihood with this. But that is not my main fear, you know. I mean, that's not, you know, if I get killed by a machine and if most of humanity gets exterminated by machines, you know, I don't think that is the greater issue here. I really think the greater issue is removing our pride in what we are you know saying well I'm I'll never be as good as this at anything but there is something out there if there is something out there that exists that we're making you know nobody even gets to take pride in what they made because there are so many people collaborating on it and then once they make it then another company and another group of people is going to come along and alter it so everybody can say oh well we all made it but nobody can any take any personal pride if they're honest with themselves and you know, it's, 
it's uh, that's what scares me a lot more um, about artificial intelligence. It's not that it could kill us all. I mean, yeah, if we're all dead, then we're all dead. I mean, there's not there's no fear then. I mean, it's not. It's like yeah. I mean, I'm sure you know. You know, it's scarier to think you know. Oh, they could torture us. You know, then kill us. I mean, but really, you know, that is like the worst form of torture. I feel like knowing that you can never, ever. I mean, it's like, and the thing is, is that all these jobs, it's like, all of a sudden, it's like, you know, the, the AI will know exactly what it takes to impress a human being, exactly what makes a human being happy, sad, every emotion. I mean, it's like, uh, whatever, you know, it's like, it knows the keys to what we are, essentially, is the end result. And um, then it just becomes, you know, and then it's super efficient. I mean, it doesn't need to eat, sleep. Anything, anything it does is emulating something with uh, ridiculous quantum efficiency. Um, just, just insane, man. Just really, really insane stuff. Um, so, you know, watching that video, um, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, with, with Elon Musk talking about, you know, fearing Skynet. Yeah, I understand. That's that's frightening. And that's what most people are afraid of. But I think the real fear is that all of a sudden humans are um, it, just inefficient. You know, there are too many people. I, I, and here's another problem. Here's what I think is wrong with the world nowadays is all of us, so many people. I'm not going to say all of us. I'm not even going to say a majority because I don't know. I don't know. But so many people base our worth off of our efficiency and off of what we're able to accomplish as far as like a numerical value, not how we're able to like live our lives. Um, it's, you know, everyone who does that, you know, it's like we can never outperform these machines, man. And you know, a certain thing of life is, you know, seeing that we've done a good job um but if that job is creating a machine to outperform us i mean what, what are we doing but, but cucking ourselves i mean it's like making a freaking fuck boy ai that will always outperform us that we literally and then it'll move on to the next thing and then someone else will tweak it and make it outperform others and we'll grow old and it never will and Unless we design it to appear as if it grows old to us. And um, I just think it gets, everything gets a little bit too artificial. Everything gets a little bit too plastic um, in a world ruled by artificial intelligence. So that's, uh, that's my rant for, for today. Uh, really, you know, it's upsetting. <sighs> so anyway. Thanks for watching. Uh, really, really, just uh, man, this stuff is uh, it gets me fired up. It gets me, it gets me frightened. Uh, it gets me uh, worried for the future. You know. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. Um, know that the threat to humanity is very real, and uh, it's good to stay informed. And it's it's good to uh, you know be informed and be able to take your own opinion on this stuff. So, take care of yourself, and have a good day.